Hello, my name is Monique, and welcome back to my channel. Um, I have to do my, uh, I'm going to start doing my uh, videos on my laptop and editing edit, edit, edit them from there. Um, I did my wrap up, my February wrap up, and it got deleted off my phone, so I got to redo it again. But I'm not going to show you the books, I'm just going to show you from my Goodreads. Um, page what I've read and how many stars I gave in it um I'm really sorry about that um I hope this is okay um let's get started guys the first book I finished I finished Legend Boy uh, I gave it a five star, and um, Bree is my favorite character in this book, and I thought it was sad about her mom dying on her when she was young, and these and the these demons let them come and try to take over. I I would give this book a ten out of ten star because it was that good. I can't wait till book number two comes out because I heard um, really really good things about it. Um, um, hang on a second. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be a series or a trilogy. Right now it's a series. Um, it says book two is being published 2021. That's all we know about this one. Um, but I'm hoping it comes out for book two. The next one I read um, sorry about the lighting guys There we go. The Path of Daggers. Um, this is book number eight in the Real Time series by Robert Jordan. Um, I gave it a 2.5 stars. It wasn't my favorite in the series. Um, but I will be continuing it. Be continuing it. Um, Perry is back in this book. I'm so excited. I missed him. I gave it a 2.5 because it wasn't the book for me. I didn't understand this book. So I'm going to take a break from the will of time until July or August but I changed that I'm going to pick up book number 9 um, The Winter's Heart in March so be the lookout for that book review the next one I finish Kingdom of the Wicked by Karen Cassio. Uh, this is the first book. I gave it a four star in it. Um, it was about two sisters. One was brutally murdered and um, request for re re revenge for unleashed, uh, unleashed hell. And uh, it's got a lot of exotic romance in it. And Emily uh, Victoria is the one that got killed. And they, they're witches. So among the humans so um, I'm, I'm waiting on book number two to come out I um, don't know if it's going to be a um, here's book number two uh, The Kingdom of the Curse uh, it says it comes out October 26, 2021 so I will be rereading Book number one, uh, The Kingdom of the Wicked, and um, that way I'm ready for book number two. So I can't wait. I'm excited. And I gave it a four star. The next book I finished in February. Um, a Time of Dread by John Gwynn. 
uh, this is book number one of, of Blood and Bone. Um, I gave it a five star. Um, I love this book. Um, if you like um, Faithful and the Falling series, book one of uh, Malison, Valerie, um, Ruin, and Wrath, y'all should pick this series up. It's, it's a heck of a ride. And I am waiting on book number two to come out. Um, which they're already out, apparently. Um, I just gotta get my hands on them, which I'll probably get them on the ebook and finish it out that way. Because, like I said, I ain't got no more room for physical books, so I go to my Kindle and get all my books. But the next one is A Time of Blood, and then the third one is A Time of Courage. And, like I said, I'm gonna pick this up, and I can't wait. And I gave book number one a five out of five star. The next one I finished. I uh, don't know if y'all can see that. Uh, An Echo of Things to Come. Uh, this is book number two in the Madison's Trilogy. Uh, I gave it a five star. Um, I did a review on Devlin is my favorite person in this book, and he is a fighter to the T. I can't wait to start book three, the the light of all the fallen. I hope Devlin is that one too, because I fell in love with him. He is amazing in this series. So Devlin is my favorite character in this series, and I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, I gave, like I said, I gave it a five star, and I'm picking up book three um, in March, and we see, see, should see what happens next. The next one I finished. Uh, this is a manga uh, of the nerdy narrative, Leslie recommend this to me because it's my first time reading manga um, and I really loved it hang on a second I read book one and book two in February it's an actual good read there's like over 30 uh, volumes in it so they give me enough time to catch up on my reading if I can't reach my goal I'll pick these up and I gave the first one a 5 out of 5 stars. Um, and I, I uh, want to thank Nerdy Narrative for recommending me this book. Thank you, girl. The second one I finished. This is volume 2, The Bug Clown. Um, I gave it a 3 stars. Um, it was, it was okay, but the first one was better. I'm hoping book three is better than book two. So, uh, I'll be able to give y'all more update on that um, when I get to it. But this is what I've read. The next one I read. The Moon Chosen. Uh, Tales of the New World, book number one by PC Cast. I gave this a four star and um Myra is my favorite in this YA series. Uh she is crazy as fuck in this series and she's trying to to kill her best friend in it. I got to pick up book two the Sun the Sun Warrior to see what's next. Oh my god, this is a great series. So if y'all have not read this I would recommend it because it's really, it's a YA, uh, a young adult series, and there's like three books, I think that's it in the series, um, but I gave this a four star, it's fantastic. The next one I finished, Sun Warrior by PC Cast. This is book number two in the Tales of the New World. Uh, I gave it a five star on my Goodread, and um, 
I think this is my favorite series for 2021. Molly and Ink are, are my favorite pe uh, favorite characters in this series, and I was shocked on the ending of Sun Warrior. Myra and Nick fell in love, and I was hoping for that. Uh, I I called it on them, and because of he couldn't stop looking at her, and Dallas, I can't stand him. Period. Uh, I can't wait to pick up book number three. Uh, the Wind uh, Rider, I think it's the name of it. That's book three to see how it ends, and I will let y'all know. The next one I finished. A Court of Thorns and Roses. This is book number one in the uh, Avatar series. And I gave it a four star. Uh, I can't believe this book. Oh my God. To my surprise, this was really good. And it kept my attention the whole way through. 19 year old Faye is the hunter and one and one even she killed a wolf while hunting a deer. She didn't realize that her her killing that wolf would lead her to be captured but not only by animals but the high Faye and his name is Tamara. Faye, uh, Faye has to stay at the high court to pay back her debt for killing a wolf. All she wanted to it all she wanted was to go home. All Tamara is making it any easy for the day. She slowly starts to have a likely uh, which then turns to love for Tamara. Being around him in his world seeing all the harsh that goes on Faye is becoming more close to Tamara. Why it was pretty much a jerk to Tamron doing things just to uh, spark a rise from Tamron. The High Queen was a bitch too. So glad she's dead. Overall, I enjoyed the first book in this series and plan to continue. Also, I think this series should be under a new adult and not young adult because of the sex, the drug, drinking that's involved. Nothing's less. I really enjoyed it and will be moving on to book two. That was my review on Goodreads. I really enjoyed it. The next one I picked up Heartstopper. This is volume one. I borrowed it from my library and I gave it a five star. It was great. I can't wait to pick up book two and three. Uh, my library don't have it right now, so I won't be able to uh, pick it up until um, they come in, which I don't know when that'll be. Charlie's my favorite character in the manga. I, I can't believe he's gay in it. I can't wait to get to book two to see what happens next. Charlie is gay, and he likes this guy that's, that's in here. And I don't know if the other guy's gay, but I'm hoping to find out in book two what happens next. And I will keep y'all up to date on that. The last one I finish. A Court of uh, uh, Wrist and Fury. I gave this a five star. This is book two in the uh, Avatar series. I gave it a five stars, and Ryan and Nessa are my favorite in this book, and oh my god, I, I got to go, got so much to say in the spoiler comments. This should not have been an adult, young adult fantasy, guys. This should have been an adult, straight adult fantasy, because there, there's so much going on, and there's sex, uh, dr uh, sex, drinking, all of it's in there. Uh, this should not, um, because, uh, this book is wild, and I loved every minute of it, and every chapter, I was, I was rooting for it, uh, I'm picking up book, uh, three, 
um, a quart of, uh, let me look, hold on a minute, a quart of Wings and Ruin is next on my TBR. And I got a quart of Frost and Starlight, and I got a quart of sil uh, Silver and Flames, all of them. Hopefully I get to them all this month, but like I said, I'm doing four buddy reads, so I will see soon enough. We're alone. Um, I hope y'all like this video. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. And I shall see y'all in my next video. And happy reading. Bye.